Hello, this is Overlord Bell, back with another ship review video, and today we'll be looking at the new Tier 7 French battlecruiser, the Toulon. She'd be able to be to be able to get her in the upcoming 11.4 patch hitting this week. She'll be able to uh, get her from random bundles shown on the top right, but over time you'll be able to get her for for doubloons. But I would recommend her only in ranked and for a trainer for the upcoming French battle cruiser line. But I would not recommend her for anything else since it's heavily matchmaking dependent and since you have to gamble to get her I wouldn't really want to risk money on something that isn't really that impressive uh, you can wait to get her for just the doubloons and I'll be going over that why in today's video just so you all are aware I had trouble uh, for the time to run out to be able to use this ship to get some good replays so I do apologize for the poor quality of the replays so let's just move on from there now, with that out of the way, let's go over the build, which will show Misha on the top right. It's a standard cruiser build, but focused on the AP, since the AP on the Toulon is strong. If you want to focus on more tanky build, you can switch from the heavy AP uh, to for extra health with the survivability expert build. I'm sorry, perk instead. Now, for the armor and survivability, the ship has 42,500 HP pool. Now the armor scheme will be shown on the top right. The ship has a 16 millimeter bow slash stern with a 30 millimeter deck. It also has a 25 millimeter upper side armor and a slightly above waterline citadel. It's very long and extends from the back of the turret to, to the uh, front turret. It's all the way from the back of the ship all the way to the front gun. The ship's torpedo protection defense system is 25%. The Toulon's durability is quite good for a tier 7 cruiser, more akin to a BB in regards of tanking. Her 30mm deck armor lets her bounce BB shells at longer distance, though her 16mm uh, bow slash stern is easily overmatched by any BB caliber. Unfortunately, her citadel isn't well protected. Uh, in fact, many BBs can citadel her, citadel her right through the bow due to her weaker front bulkhead armor. Still, as long as you angle properly, uh, Toulon will provide one of the hardest tier 7s cruisers to kill. When bow in, you, if you present a 30 through 40 degree angle as it gives the bulkhead enough angle to bounce shells, preventing a citadel. So this should be more of this should be more of like a skill based ship. So make sure you definitely take that into note if you're trying to get this ship or not going to. Now for the main armament, you get two quad 305 slash 45 guns with a 16.8 uh, kilometer range with a 28 second reload. The turret traverse for one, uh, 180 degrees is 40 seconds. There are no frontal restrictions for the gun, uh, angles for the guns, and if you're trying to aim to the rear, it's a 44 degree uh, uh, angle to, to the stern. Now for the HE shell damage is 4,050 with a 51 millimeter HE pen with a 17% fire chance uh, with the 69,429k HE DPM. So close to greatness, if only it was 69,420, it would have been awesome. Now the AP shell damage is 8,000 with a 21 millimeter overmatch with a 45 through 60 degree ricochet angle for the AP with 137k AP damage. Uh, sorry, AP, AP DPM, 137k AP DPM. The ship has very good shell ballistics, similar to the Russian light cruisers. It has battle cruiser dispersion, similar accuracy to Grass Bay and the Congress. It has an amazing forward firing arcs, horrible kiting arcs though. It does have terrible HE damage output, but at least it pens 51 millimeter armor. It has an amazing AP that can overmatch most tier seven cruisers and below and can citadel BBs at close range. Now the gun dispersion is gonna be shown on the top right. The Toulon is primarily an AP spammer, having excellent penetration and overmatch capabilities close to a BB. Her AP overmatch is 21 millimeters, letting her pen the bow and stern of most tier five through seven cruisers, as well as some light cruisers. The AP rounds can also citadel BBs at close range, roughly under eight kilometers. 
unfortunately her he is very disappointing having neither the dpm nor a strong alpha strike acceptable for lighting fires but should not be used unless there's no better targets than angled bbs accuracy can also be an issue at times due to her battle cruiser dispersion the secondary armor uh, ar armament of the ship is six twin 100 millimeter slash 45 guns with a 6.3 kilometer range with 1400 he damage with a six percent fire chance it does have a four second reload for these like most other ships with secondaries you can forget they exist may occasionally let a fire at close range but don't expect them to save you from yellowing dds now for the anti-air defense uh, if you want to even call it that it has two uh plus um uh two plus inner plus zero outer flak so you only get two flak clouds uh burst with a long range dps of 256 the mid with a 35 and the near with 238 dps like most other ships, the Toulon hates fighting CVs, as almost all her AA is limited to close range. Most of her plane kills will come after the plane dropped their load. She also takes significant damage from CVs due to her large size and being constantly spotted. For the anti-submarine warfare, you get one ASW plane charge that's a 6 kilometer range. With, and they do drop three 1600 damage uh, depth charges that have a reload of 30 seconds. The Toulon is armed with the same ASW airstrike as other uh, cruisers at tier 7. They are moderately effective but suffer from their low range. The maneuver maneuverability of the Toulon is 30, 30 knots uh, base speed with a 37.5 knots max possible speed. The ship has a 7 10 mil, uh, meter turning radius with 11.5 rudder shift either the slowest ship or the third fastest depending upon the speed boost Sur surprisingly average turn radius very good for ship of her size horrible rudder shift time uh worse in class the toulon's maneuverability is also all over the place though she is the slowest cruiser at baseline access to the speed boost lets her outspeed all but the munchkin and the algory her turning radius is also unexpectedly tight being better than the heavy cruisers however she has the slowest rudder shift time of all tier 7 cruisers somewhat negating her small turning radius now let's look at the concealment with the camo the surface detection with the camo uh base is 11.7 kilometers and with the aerial is 7.9 kilometers base. When you build into the concealment, it goes to 10.1 kilometers uh, best surface detection and the 7.1 kilometer best aerial detection. Despite Toulon's being the biggest tier seven cruiser, she is somehow one of the stealthiest with the surface detection of 10.1 kilometers. She's only outspotted by a few select light cruisers. Just imagine being spotted by an invisible ship that can overmatch your cruiser bow or stern. Right at the bum. For the consumables, you get a standard uh, cruiser damage control party with a 5 second midi period and a 60 second reload time. Now you can choose between a standard cruiser defensive AA um, or a standard hydro. Now for the standard defensive AA, you get three base charges for a super attendant that do plus 50% continuous damage, uh, plus 300% flak damage with a 40 second active time and a 80 second reload time. Or you can use the Hydra, which I recommend. You get uh, three base charges for a super attendant with a ship detection of four kilometers and a torpedo protection of three kilometers with a hundred second active time and a 120 second reload time. You do get the French B boost, uh, three charges base with a four with a super attendant, uh, plus 20% uh, top speed uh, with a 180 second active time and a 90 second reload time. Now you do get catapult fighter planes with three charges base, uh, four with uh, super attendant, you get three fighters per squad with a 60 second active time and a 90 second reload. You do get a heal for a tier 7, which is quite rare. So you do get a standard cruiser repair party that heals 0.5% of 
of total HP for 28 seconds, three charges base, four with superintendent. Now this has a similar loadout to the Algary with repair party instead of reload booster. You do get access to the French speed, uh, a speed boost which enhances her mobility and dodging ability. Overall impressions, now let's go over my overall impressions of the Toulon. The Toulon has an average skill floor and above average skill ceiling. It has, um, it's, for randoms it's okay, but it's heavily dependent on team lineups and not running into CVs. For ranked, since you're limited in matchmaking to the same tier, it can be quite good since it can smash any cruiser at her tier while threatening BBs with those 300mm guns. Now for the playstyle, the Toulon is the premium tier 7 French uh, super cruiser available as a random bundle reward. Although technically not part of the tech tree line, her playstyle is very similar to the other French cruisers, so it can be used as kind of like a crew trainer if that's something you're looking for. The Toulon is a powerful mid-tier cruiser uh, bully. Her AP able to overmatch almost all tier 7 cruisers and below, as well as tier 5 BBs. As long as the shells hit, of course, the cruisers will take damage from any angle. The AP is also potent against BBs, capable of landing citadels under 10 kilometers. The Toulon Super Concealment, a superior concealment, can also help her sneak up on, on the on cruisers or other BBs for the ideal shot. Unfortunately, Toulon struggles heavily outside of her niche. Her, her HE is very anemic and will struggle to damage enemies. Her defense is also shaky at times as she is easily citadeled if not angled properly. Her all forward gun arrangements also baits a lot of players into bow tanking, which is the last thing you want to do in this ship with having a 16mm bow armor that lets any BB pen her nose and sometimes her citadel while uh, robbing her of her mobility advantage. So avoid staying bowing whenever possible or you will suffer. So again, like I said, I would really only recommend this ship for randoms or for a trainer for the upcoming French Battle Cruiser line. I wouldn't really recommend playing this ship in randoms because it's so matchmaking dependent, but of course, you can if you like. And if you want to try to get into bundles, you can as well. But again, I would just say try to get it whenever it's going to be coming out uh, in a few months, of course. But yep, if you guys have any questions, guys, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, when I was making this video, it's literally 6 o'clock in the morning, so I do apologize for how tired I sound, so I do apologize for that. But yep, uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, just let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, talk to y'all later. Oh, big stretch, dude. Oh, big stretch, yeah.